Hi everyone, I'm going to give you a demo on my data analysis project which helps to analyze WhatsApp chat history. So I'll begin by uploading my personal chat with one of my friends. So as it is updating, I'll give you a short introduction on what it is. So this is the personal chat analysis with my friend. So as you can see the first chart, it shows the overall messages that has been shared between me and my friend. This shows plot for all the years so if you can see if you want to see for 2018 you can see for 2018 there is a deadline here because there is no chat history over here there is no data for this but since 2018 October there is some data so it is showing here so you can see for 2019 2020 or you can see overall how our texting pattern has been changing over the months or you can see all the plots together coming here this one shows since Jan, since November 2018, how our texting patterns has been changing between me and my friend. So as you can see, since March, there has been a spike over here. So you, I guess you have some idea why this spike might be. It is obviously because of the pandemic that was going on and both of us were at home jobless. We speak a lot during this period of time. You can see for individual person, the chart or you can see for both together. So coming to the next tab that is year based analysis. So since data is since 2018 and since just November, so it shows only for November to December. So just for more data points, I will choose the year 2019. So it will show for 2019 how our texting pattern was. So this one shows for 2019 how mine and my friend's texting pattern has changed from Jan to December. You can see individual again or you can see for both. So coming down here, this chart, this pie chart, it shows the total messages between me and my friend that were shared. So as you can see, 53.5% was me. I talk a lot. So this is the pie chart for 2019. Coming to the next chart, this is active days of the week that this one shows which day of the week we were talk, we talk the most for example if you see here wednesday is the most we talk and thursday is the least that we talk you can see either individual again or you can see overall overall means it combines both mine and my friend's chart text and it shows the overall per cha overall data Coming down again, this one shows, as you can see, this is active hours of the day, this is active days of the month, active hours of the day, it shows which was the most active hours of the day. As you can see here, it's 12, 12 p.m. that is we talk the most and here there is very less data because this is the time that we generally sleep. You can either see again individual data or you can see overall or you can see for both. And coming to this, this is active days of the month, which day of the month is the highest activity active days like i think you get my point so in this if you see ninth of the ninth of every month if you see there is like very less data point for 2019 so and this is what you can see you can see the for overall like if you see for overall it combines all the years together and then it shows you data points so you can see 7,000 messages were shared by Sharath and 7,189 by me. So almost close active days of the week again. Wednesday, Wednesday is the most and if you see now, Tuesday is the least, uh, number of, least number of messages shared between me and him. And again, if you say active hours of the day and active days of the month. Coming to the next tab that is personal text analysis. The first column, the first table, it shows how many message. It has a lot of columns like messages, words, unique words, medias, emojis and links. I think each column header sh uh, defines what data it is representing. So if you see words, it shows total number of words shared, unique words, total number of unique words shared between us, medias and emojis. You can understand, I think. So if you want, you can sort the columns as well. This I will show you more where it will be beneficial when I'm showing you analysis on the group chat. So if you see here, the overall links shared between me and him, that is Instagram, YouTube, Coolwings, LinkedIn and Facebook. LinkedIn is there, obviously, because I think me and him both are searching for jobs and LinkedIn.com is there. Coolwings because both of us wear specs, both of us can't see without specs. So we share a lot of specs, nice specs that... <laughs> 
we like and emojis if you see here there is heart there is smileys and there is face palm because both of us speak a lot of crappy stuff and here if you see words it shows which was the highest number of used words and the total number of time each words were used you can also a sort based on the length as well like if you see six length word that was used the most is things google better course and resume resume as i told you can understand linkedin resume you can understand you can make out the story now coming to the last part of uh, personal chat that is you can see whatever i showed here you can see individual basis as well like you can see either for sharath or for me like if you want to see for sharath you can see which was the most uh, link shared by him instagram is the most because we both are on instagram very active facebook i am not very active so there is not much uh facebook links that are shared between us if you see the if you can also see which was the highest number of words you you see will one so what see or the highest ones if you see you can change the word length as well okay now this is this was for a uh, personal chat now i'll show you for group chat as well what you can do for group chat so if you see here this is for group chat analysis so similarly you can drop your group chat here group chat this is manali group is the name of our group so it's manali group so it'll take some time since it, there are like 1.1 lakh messages that are there in that group since 2018 so it'll take some time so when it loads this is how it look like so if you see here uh, like how i told for personal chat this is how it is for our group chat it shows combine messages for all the group members and you can see individual here as well if you come here this is very interesting if you see here it'll show all uh, the graph for uh, the chart the chart for each each uh, member of the group like if you can see there are so many group members and it shows for each month of the year since 2018 to the month july so as you can see since march there is a spike again here because of pandemic everybody stuck at home and everybody wants to talk crap so you can also see top 3 members of the group that is me my two friends we talk a lot so you can see you can see like that or you can you can choose whatever number of members you want to see that you want you can see top 7 or you can see individual basis as well you can like skip all these people or if you want to just see for this friend of mine say nagraj you can just see for him how his growth has been since 2018 now coming to year based analysis similarly like for personal chat you can see for oh no 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 i forgot to show you one more thing in this other thing is group icon changes group subject changes you can see how many number of time each individual has changed a group icon or you can see each individual how many times he has changed a group subject something interesting group exits you can see how many times each one has left the group as you can see three times i think i got offended in the group three times so i left the group three times so coming here it shows word cloud of minimum length four for top 100 words it's interesting best part is you can actually save this as you can download this as a png format just click on this you can download it as a png format all the charts charts are downloadable you can share it with your group members coming to year based analysis again it shows for each individual how his performance how his growth has been throughout the years now if you come here for 2018 this was how uh this was the total number of messages per person you can see bar chart here since there are more number of people i wanted to represent it as a bar chart not pie chart active days of the week this shows for overall groups even active days of the month active hours of the day again you can choose whichever year you want and it'll show for that particular year coming to group chat analysis like i told you this is where the sort column will be used the most you can choose whichever one like media if you see media as ravindra she has the most number of media then comes me then comes nagraj if you want to see for unique words who uses unique words the most you can sort on multiple columns or you can clear them i'll show you the initial table and just like how how i showed you for personal chat similar thing goes for group chat as well you can see the overall link shared overall emojis the words everything is good and also you can see for individual members here so as you can see this gives an entire overview of how your group has performed over the years where i think there can there is some special use cases when it comes to your business as well if you run business on 
on WhatsApp as a group or you have an individual personal chat, you can customize this dashboard according to your needs. For example, if you want to see which was uh, what was the sentiment of your uh, customer, you can combine all the personal chat or if you have a group chat, you can uh, you can have a special uh, what you say specific uh, data table that shows what was the sentiment of the group message. Was it positive, neutral, negative? Which was the most common uh, word that was used? It can also tell you like which was the most common product that was purchased. Or if you want to look at marketing purposes as well, if you want to see this on a marketing purposes as well, you can see which was which is the most used medium in this group. You can see YouTube is the most uh, most used medium uh, that they share, and you get to know like and the individual base also you get to know which was used the most. So if you see this on a business perspective it has implementation or users there as well or if you want to just have fun with your friends you can have this there as well so you can customize this dashboard the link to this code is available on my github i guess currently i've kept it as private soon as requests are more for this if there are more then i'll make it public so that everybody can use it thank you guys bye bye see you on the next project